What's up, Keep Pounding Nation? We're back today with another video, and today we are taking on the Redskins in Charlotte at home. And I think the two biggest dangers in this game are going to be the quarterback and Josh Norman. And I know people are going to say, wait, 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 Josh Norman? They got to get burnt by literally every strong wide receiver in the league. But here's the thing. We have average wide receivers. Maybe a little bit above average wide receivers if you think about it. But I think he's going to be matched up against A.J. Moore. And with that matchup, he's going to take away at least a fourth of DJ's uh, catches. That's my thought. And as far as the quarterback is concerned, we've had some really bad secondary problems. We've had draw plays that have led to 20 yards or more. You know, so the running back and the quarterback are going to be a problem, as usual. But, but folks, they have an average quarterback. They have an average running back. In my opinion. In my opinion. I know I'm going to get roasted for that. And I don't care. I got roasted for it. In older videos. And I don't care. That's in my opinion. Uh, you know this Redskins team is not very good. We should be able to win this game. If we play. Uh, decent Panzer football. You know, and take care of business. Uh, I pointed this out in a previous video this week. Samuel needs to look at Kyle Allen while in routes. While out in routes. He needs to look at Kyle. Look for the ball. Keep your eyes open. He's not getting this ball unless he does. And it's just that simple. And, you know, we'll get Jarius Wright involved. We'll get uh, Christian McCaffrey involved. Of course, he's going to be the main uh, yards getter for us. But, DJ is going to be covered up at least a fourth of the time. We guarantee that. Now. Um, the problem is going to be on defense. What happens there? We've been roasted for, what, 31 points last week on defense. And that was just by the, by the Saints put their, put their pants down, you know? Like, that's not even the Saints when they're actually playing decently. We've seen what the Saints can do when they're playing decently. So we caught them at a low point, and we got really, really lucky. But we still couldn't pull it off. Uh, here's the thing, long term wise, this will be six wins, you know, no matter which train you're wa you're on here, whether you're on the train that wants us to get to the playoffs with nine wins, like I am, or whether you want to see us tank after that loss last week. Uh, ultimately, I don't think this win will hurt us in the draft picks. I don't think it will. Uh, because realistically, we're still going to be sitting somewhere in between, uh, pick 10 and pick 15. So, if you take that into consideration, you know, even with the 6 and 10, uh, season last year, we were still sitting in that range. So, I think that's where we're going to be this year, unless we go for the 9 wins, which I think is possible, but it's got to start this week. This is a win right here that we have to take. There is no exception. We have to take it. It would have been nice to have that luxury of that Saints game just in case we lost one of the Seattle, the two games against Seattle or the Indianapolis Colts later on, but we don't have that luxury anymore. We have to take the Redskins game. We have to take the Atlanta game in the Dome. We have to take the Seattle game. We have to take the Indy game. 
Now, I believe we may have that that last Saints game on the table as a cushion. We might or might not. Breeze will still torch us in the first half for that game. There's no question about it. Before they take him out there's and Kamara, they're going to torch us. Same with Cook. I think they might leave Cook in a little longer than, than the other two during that last game of the season. So, you know, it is critical we get this win today if we want a shot at the playoffs. Nine wins guarantees us a spot in the conversation. Guarantees us a spot. That doesn't guarantee we get one of the wild card spots. It guarantees us a spot in the conversation. And that's enough for now. Dallas is dropping out. Uh, There's a couple of teams dropping out, actually. So, what we need to do is be in there when they drop out. You know, and I've started looking at some of these schedules. We've got a shot. We've got a shot with nine wins. It's possible, folks. You know, people thought I was crazy for saying this earlier in the season, but I'm telling you, you get in the conversation, you might get lucky. And this year we're getting lucky, but we just don't have nine wins on the board yet. we got to take them. We've got to earn them. You can't just say, oh, well, let's just get nine wins and let it fall into our lap. That's not how it works. You've got to earn those nine wins. And this year, we really need to earn those nine wins. Because Seattle and the Colts might look like average teams. I'll I'll take that sentence back. Seattle looks pretty decent. Um, they look like a contender. They look like a wild card contender if they don't take the division, which they probably will. Uh, the Colts are going to be in that that uh, wild card battle as well, possibly. I'm expecting that. So here's the thing: these two wins are not going to come easy in the next. In the next three weeks. We've got to take this game. That's just point blank. We've got to take it. So. I'm calling on our players. To get motivated today. I'm calling on our players. To to play with some passion. To play with some energy today. And to not be lazy. If we're going to have a bad game. It's got to be this one. We can't have a bad game in Atlanta. We can't have a bad game in Seattle. We can't have a bad game in in Indianapolis. It's got to be here if we have a rough game. This can be our lazy game, but we got to play with some promise. I understand this team can't be up every week. I understand we have problems. I understand there's a lot of issues going on in this team. But right now is where... We start our playoff push right now. We don't start it next week in Atlanta. We start it right now. Today. And I expect everybody on this team to play like it. If you want nine wins, if you want to be in that conversation at the end of the year, prove it. Show me you want to be in that conversation. Actions speak louder than words. Don't just say you want to be in the playoffs. Everybody can say they want to be in the playoffs. Show me. Show this fan base. Show everybody who we are and what we're about. Show them how we roar. That's all I've got for you today. Keep pounding. Let's get this win.